Hello friends, welcome to BHP Solution. My name is Rukesh Gandhi. In this session, we will see how to create a legal entity in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management. So this is our today's agenda where we will cover how to create legal address as well as how to create a legal entity in our application. Later on, we will cover how to assign legal entity to this primary ledger. And at the end, we assign balancing segment value to the legal entity. So a legal entity is a recognized party with the rights and responsibility under the commercial law through the registration with the country's appropriate authority. It means legal entity deals with the company's registration related information. It stores the company name, stores the com company registration number, tax identification number, and all the information related to the uh, companies it is stored and legal entity is responsible for facilitate local compliance and it minimize the enterprise tax liabilities and also isolate the business risk by creating the separate business area based on the legal entities and uh, payroll statutory unit a payroll statutory unit are a legal entities that are responsible for paying workers, including the payment of payroll tax and social insurance. It means a payroll statutory unit can pay and report on the payroll tax on the behalf of one or many, one and more legal entities, depending upon the structure of your enterprise. It performs the payroll related tasks for the employee. And the legal employer, a legal employer is a legal entity that employ the workers, that hire the workers, you can say it. So let's move on the application and create and see how to create legal address and legal entity. So this is our application homepage. And uh, in order to create a legal address, First, we have to click on this setting and action further down and click on this setup and maintenance. We have to go inside the implementation project. So click on this task. Click on this manage implementation project and click on this overview. So this user assign this implementation project. So click on that and uh, find the task name manage legal address so click on this manage legal addresses financial part click on that and uh, this is the manage legal addresses and click on this go to task So you can search over here, the legal address, but right now we are going to create new one. So click on this create option over here. So this is the country. You can select your country. So this is the country where the, your legal entity is situated and the address line one and this address line two. Let's enter the address line one. And uh, let's click on this postal code. Click on search. Click on search for the postal code. Click on first one, click on OK. So you can see over here using the postal code the other value city, state and country populated automatically. The information catch, catch from the geography area. The Oracle already defined the Oracle uh, seeded data in this application. And uh, click on this OK. So in this way, you can create the legal address. Save and close.
now let's click on the task and search for the manage legal entity manage legal entity click on this financial part manage legal entity click on this go to task so we are going to create new legal entity so click on this create new rather than select and add click on this apply and go to task so this is the page where the legal entities are data legal entity related data informations display over here this different kind of legal entities and we are going to create new one so click on this create option and uh, this is the country united state you can change as per your legal entity situated and this is the name of the legal entity and this is the legal entity ident identifier nothing but a registration number so this number is provided by the client side so as per the test instance we can insert a registration number you can also mention the start date and end date for this legal entity and uh, later on if you want to run the payroll in our organization under this legal entity so you have to enable this payroll statutory unit box and if you want to hire the people with this registration with this legal entity you have to enable this legal employer checkbox if you are not enable this you cannot perform payroll application and you cannot create the employee under this legal entity so you have to enable both the option please ensure that and this is the jurisdiction area under this jurisdiction area this legal entity perform all the regulations and rules and regulation related to the this jurisdiction now this is the legal address let's click on that and search for the legal address which we have created earlier select this and okay in the place of registration and this is the tin number and nothing but a tax identification number and the legal reporting unit registration number this is the all information we gather and the information we get from the client side so let's enter some information for the raw data and click on this save and close it will take few seconds to complete this process so in our last session common configuration as same common configuration we had discussed about primary ledger so in that primary ledger we had described chart of account under this chart of account we had defined value set three type of value set company value set department value set and account value set under the company value set 
we had defined three company segment values under the segment value we define the segment label which segment label the primary balance sheet segment so this company segment values also called a balancing segment so the company is also defined under this legal entity so you have to map this company to the legal entity so we have to define these all balancing segment to this legal entity and uh, but we cannot define this balancing segment to the legal entity directly and you can say you cannot map this company to the legal entity so first we define first we first we have to legal entity map with the primary ledger and after that assign balancing segment value to the legal entity click on done and search task assign legal entities so click on that and go to the assign legal entity go to task so assign legal entity to the primary ledger so click on this select and add and search for the legal entity search for that click on that apply done so in this way you assign legal entity to this primary ledger seven close and the next step is assign balancing segment value to the legal entities so we have a task assign balancing segment value to the legal entity go to task so you can see over here this is our legal entity map with the primary ledger and assign company value so click on plus i sign over here and this is the company value so we are going to add you we are going to map this company to this legal entity click on save and sign another go with the second one seven and and the last one seven close so we are assign the balancing segment value to the legal entity seven close now the last step is review and submit accounting configuration click on go to task so this is our status confirm and uh, click on submit the create accounting configuration process has been submitted 0952 click okay so this is how you can create a legal entity in oracle fusion application thanks for watching this video thank you so much